Cal, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to, to speak to us out here in, in Devon and Cornwall. Uh, we can tell we're not in Huddersfield, we've got the nice 18th at St Melian just over our shoulders. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how's your first week or so been at the club? It's been great, it's been, been really good. Um, everybody's been really welcoming, from the staff to the players. Um, just the you know the feel of the whole training ground. Um, obviously, I you know known the manager and and Ronnie before and and, um, and Ian Bennett worked with them before, um, and then it's almost like coming home a little bit for me coming back to Yorkshire. Um, I've been living um, um, down near London, outside London for the past 10, 12 years. So, you know, being a, a guy from Bradford and coming back to Yorkshire, so it's been nice to have a, a few Yorkshire accents about. You've not managed to lose your accent in all that time. Well, do you know what? I think I, it depends who I'm with. Um, it's just uh, I blend into to whoever I'm with. So, so yeah, I've got I've, I've brought it back a little bit. If we we talk a bit about yourself before your role at the club, um, you were a player at first, and then your career was cut short by injury. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I um, um, had um, playing career finished at, at Newcastle. I had to re retire through um, through injury there when I was 25. Um, and then kind of figuring out the, my, my next route and um, doing a degree and went back to a sports science degree and um, worked in sports science for a, for a period of time and then kind of blended that to blended with with coaching and and then this is part of my journey now and and, and now here obviously here and coaching with um, uh, with, the, with the gaffer and Ronnie. Your, your journey with coaching has, has, as you say, led you past Neil and Ronnie previously. Is it QPR and Middlesbrough? Uh, uh, no, no. Of? Initially, initially um, uh, Crystal Palace for a short period of time, um, then QPR and then um, Cardiff. Um, so yeah, yeah. But some interesting times with the, with the gaffer. As I, say, I um, had a spell playing with him um, in my last season with Oldham, um, and then with time at, at Newcastle. Um, my first season there wasn't too too great, and I had a spell on loan with him at, at Berry at the time. So my connections with um, um, with the with the gaffer go back a long way, and in that team um, at Oldham at the time as well, Ronnie was there as well. So you know that's going back to 1997. So yeah, long long time ago. What was your motivation for wanting to get into the coaching side of the game after you, you had to retire? Just that that feel of of. Um, even though being being young, of being really a, a, f a fan of football and, and understanding, feeling that understood football and um, and wanting to be around football, um, and I had a, had a little spell working for um, a, a, a football agency that, that looked after me at the time, and it, it, it was an area that I wanted to go into. So that kind of gave me the motivation to, to go back to to what I really enjoyed being around, and that's that's being around. Um, Again, being around football, being around football people, um, helping people develop and, and, and progress and, and be better, really, and just, just enjoying that, that environment. Am I right in thinking with your, your sports science background, the gaffers mentioned as well, it's more the fitness side you look after? Yeah, so, so in, the, in, you know, in that, that, those initial stages, spending a, you know, a long time being a um, kind of head of conditioning and, and fitness of conditioning. Um, I've done that at a number of clubs with the, with the gaffer. Um, and then in just in recent years that becoming more of a, a hybrid role where now kind of blended over to you know to be more of a, a of a coach but that that background of um, the fitness conditioning and then allied to my kind of playing background and, and knowledge it's I think it's a, a great blend for for me for the modern game really to be honest with you to, to understand the game in, in that sort of way and it, it helps me uh, and the management group to to link the knowledge that we've got we've got a great sports science department and medical department here and it helps me to kind of link those two two together i think i can do that's what i can help with with the staff neil's talked about um his keenness to, to work with people who know how he works and work with people yeah. who he knows so yourself and and ian have come in this summer what's it like for you to, to know that he wants you to be part of his staff that must be a, a confidence booster yeah yeah it's it's, uh, it's it's brilliant as i say that I've, I've moved to different clubs with a with a manager before and it is a great position to be in when you um, when you're brought in uh, by a manager um, it just gives you the confidence to be to be relaxed he knows what i um, what i can bring um, and he he knows that i know what the manager wants in terms of the environment um, the the messages the key messages that he wants to um, to go into the players um, how the players act um, the intensity that we want to work at 
and then also around it, he wants everybody to enjoy themselves. And I, I understand that the manager wants that. And sometimes that's difficult with um, um, in football nowadays with management groups to to be able to have that relaxed nature about it because it's so it's so so intense and so difficult the world of football. Um, but the 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 manager's brilliant at having an environment where that intensity is there and everybody knows that it's serious business. But you, um, it allows everybody to um, to enjoy themselves and to be comfortable. So that's that's great to be around. I think that explains this camp that we're on at the moment as well because there's a real blend of working hard when the time is there to work hard but also enjoying each other's company and building a bit a little bit of spirit as well yeah I, I think so um, you know here we've, we've we've as the manager mentioned before it's a good way to get some game minutes um, uh, uh, for you know to for the lads without that real um, high pressure playing some of the you know league sides, but the, you know the, the, it's like extended training minutes for for us down here, um, but also those shared experiences as a, as a group and as a team. Um, and, and when I say that team, it's not just just the players; it's staff coming together as well. So whether it's you know staff group and then staff combined with players, um, because everybody's going to need to support each other in a in a in a tough season and. Um, you know, I've I've been here, a, a, you know, a number of times with a with a gaffer before with with different um, teams, and I've seen how it galvanises um, groups of of, um, of players and staff, and it, you know, it's really valuable, and that's that's why he, we we do it. He does it on a regular basis. I think with uh, you know new staff coming in, you know, younger players joining the group and everything, it's reinforced a, a togetherness within the whole group of, of staff and players that it, w it wasn't like it didn't exist previously, but it's brought more people into that circle. Yeah, it sometimes can get, get lost um, and, and not by anybody's fault or doing because everybody's, you know, you, you're trying to move forward and try to move everybody forward. Um, but I say the, the, the gaffer's vast experience of, of understanding, not just football, but understanding people and teams and groups. And um, he, he really, un he, the value of, you know, what, what he ended up doing with the, with the group last year in um, turning around a difficult situation for the team was that bringing everybody together and that um, everybody fighting for one cause. And then so, you know, by us coming here now, it's trying to start the season with that instead of trying to pick it up later on in the season. So, you know, hopefully that's going to stand us in really good stead for the season going forward. And the last thing I'll ask you is, um, how's the work been with the boys? How are you finding the group? Are you you're looking forward to the season starting? Yeah, I, you know, I was really excited to come in anywhere at the beginning of the season. Um, only I knew one or two of the players, so I've worked with obviously uh, Danny Ward at Cardiff before, and then um, going back years ago, I worked with um, Tom Lees when he was a kid when he was first coming through at Leeds. So. It, it, it's funny to see him as, a, as one of the senior older players now because I see him as a, you know, I've obviously seen him around football, but I see him as one of the, the, the younger guys. But as a, as a group, um, the lads are a, a good group to work with. Um, you know, we've got a few personalities, but n no one's, um, we've got all the guys prepared to, to work hard and pitch in and, um, you know, we've got no uncontrollable ego, so to speak. So it's, it's been really, really easy for me to come in and work there and, and I'm kind of excited for us to progress on past these first two weeks and progress into, um, as we go into the season and, and um, at the end of pre-season, really. The lads looking ready for the season? Yeah, yeah. We, again, we're still in those early stages, but we, those building blocks are there. The lads are looking good. Um, atmosphere is good around the around the place, and um, hopefully, as the coming weeks come, and we we improve those oppositions and, and um, you know and, and, and play against say uh, better organised teams, and, and we have more training on the belt. I think we're going to be in a real good place. Carl, thank you very much for your time, no and good luck for the season. Cheers, thank you.